Hello, and welcome to this quick guide on uh, when I'm locked in an order or stream or someone else is accessing something I need, please can you kick me, stroke them out of the Sage 50 software. Okay, we're performing the uh, training session today with the Sage 50 accounts version 22, which is the latest version currently. Okay, just go into my software. So what's happened is um, somebody believes, or oh, I have a problem where I can't access something because it believes that there's another person accessing it. So for instance, if we've got a sales order, try not to double click it and it says, you can't open this sales order because somebody else is already accessing that one. Okay, so first thing to do is just check if that person is actually accessing that. Okay, so what I've got for instance today is a scenario where I've got a user called uh, test who's supposedly logged in the system. What's actually happened is they've crashed out or they've had a power cut, something of that scenario. Okay, so they're still showing up in the um, list of users showing up in there. Okay, to access this uh, th this list of options that they're in, what we do is we just click under this option that I just clicked there, so it's just view and then user list. Okay, so there's, there, there's this user showing up. If we're confident that they're not in the system and they've actually logged out, not that they've sort of logged on, because another scenario is someone could have logged in on another screen as your username uh, and they're bor currently borrowing that user. So again, if that's a scenario, one again, make sure for definite that these are definitely not in the system and we do definitely want to remove them from the active list. Okay. Once we've confirmed that, um, I'm actually logged in as the manager user because I'll definitely have access to this. If you don't have access to this view user list, uh, it's down to your user permission. So I would always recommend logging in as the manager user, then you would definitely be able to see this option. Okay, so I'm logged in as manager. I can see there's this user test that's causing me a problem where I can't access some data. So what I do is I simply highlight the user from the list and then I click remove. Okay, so then it just warns us that this can cause corruption. I wish I want to remove this user, so I'll say yes. Okay, so that's now removed that user out of the system. Uh, if I click refresh, again, it'll just tell us if anybody else logged in, etc. Okay, if there are multiple users logged in, then you just do the same. So you just highlight the users, click remove. Uh, and so the only one that's visible is the manager user in the list. Uh, once you've done this um, and you've removed those, uh, it is also recommended for you to run the check data option. I'm not going to cover that during this training session, which is basically under file uh, and then uh, maintenance or check data. So I'll just show you where it is. So it's file, maintenance, I've warned you about having things, and then it's just basically the check data option. This will just run, run and confirm that whatever the user had when they crashed out due to the power cut or whatever it was hasn't isn't in the middle hasn't caused any problems with your data okay uh, this now uh, concludes this training session so hopefully it's uh, been useful for you and that concludes this thank you